how to dial into a virtual world from your phone. Our next guest puts voice chat in games and virtual worlds, and they have a lot of fun doing it. He's Vice President of Product Management and Founder of Vivox, Monty Sharma. Welcome into tomorrow. How are you, Monty? I'm doing great, Dave. How are you? Pretty good. Glad to have you with us. A lot of fun, as you would expect, of course, here at the Game Developers Conference, but a lot of attention at your booth as well in the exhibit area. Uh, what kind of voice features do you guys offer, and how do you use them? Sure. Well, we do massively scalable voice chat. So you can put thousands of people in channel talking to each other. Wow. It's 3D. I walk around you. You hear my voice move. I walk away. My voice gets quiet. You can connect to that same channel with a cell phone from a web page. And then, you know, if you want some fun, you can change your voice. So I don't like my voice personally. I'd rather sound like you. Yeah. <laughs> I can apply a voice fine. I can have deep, booming radio god voice. I see. So now the next edition, version 2, will have Dave voice. Exactly. Yeah. People can select that. It'll be part of our celebrity voice series. Oh, there you go. I'm liking that. That'll be, that'll be kind of fun. I've, I've done the voice for a lot of games over the years anyway, so I might as well be a voice in it. Exactly. And, and that'll be kind of fun. No, you mentioned thousands, though. I mean, how do you keep track of that many voices chattering away at the same time in a game? We, we've got some great back-end server software, which actually drops people into channels and lets you control that sort of stuff. So we'll do an event where one person can speak and everybody's quiet until somebody raises their hand and you can let them talk into the channel or you can just go wild and turn it on and everyone will talk but only if I'm in distance of you that I'll hear you. If wow. I'm a little further away, it's like I'm at a crowded party. I might hear a buzz in the background, yeah. but I can't hear what you're saying. Just some kind of chatter, but can't make it out. Exactly. But if you've got control, they're hearing you. And that's what my wife's used to. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I'll bet. What kinds of games can we use Vivox in? Well, right now we're live inside of Sony Online's games, EverQuest, EverQuest 2, Star Wars Galaxies, EVE Online, great space-based game, uh, Second Life, and there's a number of other games coming live. We just announced All Points Bulletin this week which is from the guys who actually created Grand Theft Auto. They built an MMO, uh -huh. and it's, it's unbelievable. Very cool. And you got this, so you're in some very respectable games, and a lot of folks are participating in these things, so you make it that much more fun. How do you dial in, though, to this virtual world, as I mentioned in the introduction? Yeah, well, what we can do is for any channel, any place that we're talking, we can issue a phone number for it. And so I just dial that phone number. We can send it out as a text message. So on my phone comes this little text message. It says, hey, call me in this RAID channel. Click on the phone number. Boom, I'm called in. And it's all based on our back-end systems that connect up to the phone network and the game. And one of the things you were telling us in your booth when we were demonstrating this, and some very cool voices, you mentioned, of course, a uh, deep voice and robotic voice and all kinds of wacky kinds of things. You also mentioned that the game can call us or text us. Yeah. Is this kind of an invite? It's like when something happens or when certain people are involved, let me know because I'm in? A absolutely. There's, there's this whole thing of how do you keep that community constantly active? And the, the call to arms, the, you know, the player versus player scenario where something bad's happening in game, guys. Yeah. <laughs> we need everybody in. And it's how do you get that message out to people and be able to pull them back into that game. Wow. And you're doing just that. Well, then what are you not doing now that we can antis anticipate into tomorrow? Well, I'm anticipating sleeping. Yeah. But <laughs> <laughs> Good luck with that. Yeah. <laughs> because when you leave here, you're going to have all these other ideas and contacts and networking opportunities. You can't sleep. You've got to get on them. <laughs> exactly. Well, you know, one of the big things that we're just starting to come out with is our web version. So from a web page, you can be talking into any of our stuff. You can be talking into the game. If I've got a guild page, having a conversation with my friends there, transition entirely into the game, get a phone call into that. So just any website will be able to use the power of our voice. And then the other thing that we're bringing out is actually some voice command stuff. So if I want to actually ah. issue an instruction to the game, the big thing for people is um, emotes. You know, I can type slash dance, but by the time I type it, the moment of dancing has passed. It, exactly. So I just want to be able to say, dance, sucker. <laughs> <laughs> and then your character, Will. Will. I like it. But now and it's much better than I dance, too. Oh, no doubt, because the character's doing it. And exactly. You're, yeah, you're not having to type it. Now, some commands you might not want to be heard because that's going to give away uh, your exactly. next move. Separate channels. Oh. Yeah, we got that ah, figured out. Of course you do. Yeah, yeah. Is there any charge for, for using Vivox? How does that work? For all of the games that we're currently in, the game developers are the ones who are paying freight on it, and it's, it's part of the game. We're seeing huge utilization, like 80% of the people in a game at any given time in a voice channel, which 
once Amazing. they see they have that opportunity, why not? Right? Yeah, it's you so much more out. fun. It's like listening to radio. You know, you got the guys chattering in the background. You listen to that while you do your stuff. It's fabulous. Yeah, very good. Oh, I like that. And a, and a good analogy. Good guy. We tried. So, so he knows it gets on the air. <laughs> That's how that works. Vivox.com. It's V I V O X. So why V instead of Vivox? What, where'd the Vivox part come in? Our CEO said he likes Vivox better than Vivox. Okay, well tell him to <laughs> spell it V-E next time. <laughs> so, but it works. It works. <laughs> V-I-V-O-X. Monty, thanks for spending a couple of minutes with us. You've been a lot of fun. And let's stay in touch because there's more to talk about, I'm sure. Absolutely. Thanks, Dave. My pleasure. We're back with more as Into Tomorrow continues. I'm Dave Graveline. This is Into Tomorrow from GDC in San Francisco. Don't go away. <laughs>